When we covered Bitcoin's ecosystem on our channel last year, its layer two or sidechain space was still pretty fresh. At the time, Stacks and Rootstock were the main players, but now a year later, so much has changed. While things are still in the early stages, there's been a big wave of new projects and many of them are bringing innovations to Bitcoin that we once thought weren't even possible. So let's dive right into it and check out some of these developments. First up on our list is CoreChain. It launched in 2023 and currently has a TVL of over 400 million. Interestingly, it was created by two friends, one a diehard Bitcoin fan and the other an Ethereum enthusiast. They aim to tackle the blockchain trilemma. Their solution, an EVM compatible layer one blockchain that merges Bitcoin's decentralization and security with Ethereum's flexibility. The heart of this chain is something called the Satoshi Plus consensus mechanism. It blends three key elements, delegated proof of work, delegated proof of stake, and non-custodial Bitcoin staking. With delegated proof of work, CoreChain taps into Bitcoin's security by letting Bitcoin miners participate. They do this by delegating their hash power to CoreChain validators. When miners do this, they're showing support for a specific core chain validator. In return, they earn core tokens alongside their regular Bitcoin rewards. On the delegate proof of stake side, core token holders can lock up their tokens, delegate their voting power to validators and earn a share of the rewards. The same process applies to BTC tokens. You can stake your Bitcoin and delegate it to core chain validators, just like how core token holders do it in the DPoS process. Plus, you can bridge your Bitcoin into core chains ecosystem and explore the dApps already up and running. Next up, we have BitLayer, which was brought to life by a team of engineers from projects like Huobi, Polygon, and Polkadot, just to name a few. They launched BitLayer in April 2024, marking it as the first project to implement the Bitcoin Virtual Machine, or BitVM. BitVM leverages Bitcoin's solid security while enabling it to handle complex logic, much like how Ethereum's virtual machine powers smart contracts. BitLayer also tackles Bitcoin scalability issues by operating as a layer two solution. This means it processes transactions off chain using an optimistic rollup model. In simple terms, it assumes most transactions are valid, hence the optimistic part, but there's a mechanism in place for challenging suspicious transactions. Here's where Bitcoin's base layer steps in. If someone suspects fraud, they can submit a challenge to Bitcoin's layer one and the prover has to submit a zero knowledge or ZK proof to prove that the transaction was legitimate. These proofs allow verification without revealing all the transaction data, protecting privacy, and keeping the load on Bitcoin's blockchain light. At the time of shooting, BitLayer has a TVL of over 300 million across its ecosystem of dApps, which include DEXs, lending platforms, and staking options. Now moving on to Merlin Chain. This is another EVM compatible Bitcoin layer two that uses rollup technology. It was launched in January, 2024 by Bitmap Tech with a goal to, in their words, make Bitcoin fun again. They're trying to achieve this by using ZK rollup technology. Here's how it works. Transactions are processed on Merlin's chain, bundled together, and then ZK proofs are generated to confirm that everything checks out. Once those proofs are ready, Merlin's sequencer nodes send the bundled data and proofs to Bitcoin's base layer, ensuring that the transactions are locked in and tamper-proof. This process, which involves data being transferred between Merlin's sequencer nodes and Bitcoin's base layer, is supported by an Oracle network. Its job is to make sure everything is verified properly. Merlin Chain has already launched several dApps with a combined TVL of over 100 million across its network. Next on the list is the B Squared network, which claims to be the most practical Bitcoin layer two network. B Squared works similarly to Merlin Chain, since both use ZK rollups to process transactions off chain and then submit ZK proofs to Bitcoin for final 
final settlement. Plus, like the others, B squared is also EVM compatible, meaning developers can migrate their dApps from other EVM compatible chains to B squared. On top of its ZK rollup technology, B squared has a data availability layer powered by storage nodes that are incentivized to provide storage. This ensures that transaction data processed off chain is securely stored and accessible for the long term, guaranteeing that all participants can access the necessary data if needed for validation or resolving disputes. The mainnet launched in April 2024 and currently supports Bitcoin staking along with a variety of DeFi apps contributing to its 100 million in TBL. And finally, we have Build on Bitcoin or BOB. BOB is taking a different approach to scaling Bitcoin by creating what they call a hybrid L2, which unites Ethereum and Bitcoin. Their development is rolling out in phases. Right now, they're in phase one, having launched in May 2024 as an optimistic Ethereum rollup, and they've accumulated over 30 million in TVL. The next phase will move them closer towards their vision. It involves integrating Bitcoin's proof of work security through merge mining. What that means is Bitcoin miners will be able to secure both the Bitcoin blockchain and BOB's layer two network at the same time. Beyond the projects that we've highlighted, there are others like BEVM and many more all working toward the same goal scaling Bitcoin and adding more functionality to the original cryptocurrency. However, not everyone is bullish on these developments. Some argue that the narrative re-emerges with each halving only to fizzle out. And many believe that Bitcoin is great at being a store of value, but not as a base layer for dApps. Well, we'd love to hear what you think. So share your thoughts with us in the comments below.